And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you where to find and how to use the legacy title. I've got some simple footage right here and we can press T for the type tool and create our text. You can now find it here in effect controls and adjust it. And then we've got this element in the timeline but this is not a legacy title. In older versions of Premiere Pro you could just right click in your project menu and then you item and find the legacy title. But in newer versions it's not there anymore. So go to file, new and there you can find it. Here it is. Just click on it. You can adjust the width and height but by default it has the same as your sequence. You can rename it. Just keep the default for the rest and then click on OK. Afterwards a new menu will open up. And this way you can actually create and adjust this legacy title. It might look a little bit different for you, it's because I've resized it. So there are different panels in this menu and I can see my video in the background because I've got the background visible. Just use the type tool in this menu, type something in, go to the properties. Let me make that a bit bigger and we can increase the font size for example. Or just change the font family entirely. And if you make a typo like I did right here, just pick the type tool again and correct it. You can use the center function right there. So you can adjust it with way more options than just this regular text that we've created before. And you also have these legacy title styles that are there by default. Maybe it looks a little bit smaller for you, so just drag it upwards to make it bigger. And then you can see them all. So these are the ones that are installed by default. You can just click on them and they will be applied automatically to your text. To be honest, many of them, they don't look good. But some of them would work in certain situations. So it's a good idea to at least try them out. But in general, I would suggest that you just use these legacy tile properties on the right hand side to adjust your text element and make it custom. When you've got what you want, just close this menu and you will now have this legacy tile element in your project menu. You can drag it into the timeline and now it appears in your preview window. And it can be resized, so extended or shortened in duration like any other object. And this is where you can find and how you can use the legacy tile in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.